Hey now, welcome back to Lone Star Mini Restoration, part three of my tool, mini tool cabinet. So it's like Christmas. Of course, it is Christmas. I don't know if you can hear the Christmas in the background, the Christmas music. I've got it playing there all 24-7 pretty much. Um, but it's like Christmas because uh, of recent, I have received all these new t-shirts. This one came from uh, Mr. Paul Robson, along with a whole slew of, including a wheel for my pickup, um, all kinds of goodies. Uh, Paul Robson sent that to me. Um, Alex with uh, the DJ SE sent me this awesome t-shirt. That one. And then, of course, a little bit before that, I received the one from Dave Jack. Oh, sorry, I, that's old hat. Uh, what is it, Classic Car Cave now. Uh, but Dave um, sent me this one with his Rally Mini. Anyhow, it's pretty awesome. I haven't worn any of them yet. I'm afraid I'm going to mess them up. Uh, but I thought I would leave a quick uh, status of my cabinet that's going on because tomorrow I'm excited. I'm going down to San Antonio, which is three hours south of here. And uh, I'm going to join in on my very first mini run. Uh, so put on by some guys here in Texas. And there's another friend of ours that's moved over. Uh, well, I'm anxious to meet all these guys. Um, one of them I've met, only one of them have I met. Um, the others I've met online through forums or YouTube or whatever. Uh, but I'm looking forward to meeting those guys. So tomorrow, hopefully a good two to three hour mini run. And hopefully I'll get a little bit of footage of that. So I had to leave a quick status. So without further ado, let me show you uh, what I've done. All right, right off the bat, if you can see, I don't remember where, where, what part two was. I have done, I have literally done something on this every single day for the last two weeks. Um, but what I've done here is I have made the entire back out of one sheet of, one sheet of sheet metal. I didn't want any seams, so I measured three times before I cut anything. Um, and as you can see, it covers the entire back end. This area here is open because there's going to be a retro stereo, a boom box in there, if you will. Um, I now have power going. I have three outlets in it. There's one there that you can see. Um, that yellow cord on the ground right there. Uh, sorry, I can't see the screen. But anyhow, there's a yellow cord down there. Um, and it is a retractable, that guy right there, it is a retractable extension cord. That guy is going to give us, basically it's going to supply the power. So wherever I'm at in the driveway, if I roll this out to wherever I'm working, I can extend that, it's a 30 foot extension cord, I can extend that out and that'll give power to my entire uh, tool cabinet. There's the other outlet right in there, right on that face in there. But so that is all these clamps that you see now is because I've applied liquid nails. So it is now permanent. So I hope, gosh, dear gosh, I hope that I don't have to modify anything else in here because that now is now permanent. It's not coming off without massive um, work. All right, coming around to the front of the car. Uh, as you can see, the bonnet is up. I have hinges. Now, these hinges do not operate like I had hoped they would. They were supposed to be soft close hinges, uh, meaning when you, when you drop it, it just closes nice and slowly. Um, and it doesn't do that. It basically stops everywhere I want. Um, it does lift it. In fact, here, let me do that real quick. So here's, so I mean, it's pretty much stops right there, um, comes down. I want to lift it. it part, they, the two hinges lift it pretty much 90 degrees, which I like. Now, these two hinges were not designed for this application, but I made it work. Um, basically, I'm really proud. I'm not proud of my welding in here. I don't know how well this is picking up. Let me just come in. I am not proud of my welding. Where's the light? Do I have a light? Here. All right. So I'm not proud of my welding. And I've got to clean this up some more. I'm, this isn't even tight. 
But basically what I did is I added a plate and on the back, on the top side of this plate, I welded uh, two nuts. That way I can remove this at any time. I don't like sheet metal screws, so I didn't want to go that route. Um, so I put two nuts on the top side. I can remove this, replace it, whatever. Um, which, and then I welded this. This guy is actually welded with at a bevel, so that it's a little bit more flush. And then, of course, I have had to, you see how it's attached to the cabinetry down there, but I have had to rework this cabinetry two or three times. And the main reason is because I didn't pick out my gas struts until way late in the game. Um, and they take up so much real estate when they fold down that I had to basically cut my cabinet back. But everything's working. I mean, all my doors, uh, everything I've got to paint. My storage space, I lost a little bit of storage, storage space, but not bad. Um, my drawers are still functional. I think I'm going to have to replace the bottom drawer because the, hit, the slides are not working like I want it to. And the other thing that I, I have fiddled and fiddled and fiddled with getting the bonnet correct in relationship to the wings. Um, man, I have struggled with that big time. And it's still not perfect, but, and I'm still working it. However, it's good. The other thing that I did, let me come around here. Oh, the sun's bright. I can't see the screen of the camera on this side. The other thing that I did was, of course, I mentioned this. This Inside this, I took a 30-foot retractable cable, and I it's not designed to lay flat, but I built a little bracket in there and a box to house it. So this thing, this thing works beautiful. I am going to have to, I think I'm going to put a little bit of a notch here to clear the stop. Actually, I'm going to remove that stop. I don't like that. Um, but the other thing that I did was I put pins in. I fixed the, um, the axles. Uh, here, well, sorry. Those pins right there basically keep the axle so that when the tires, tires rotate, the wheel doesn't want to go in or out. Um, but it works. And uh, I do have to say a thank you. I mean, I've been pinging ideas off of um, Dave uh, Classic Car Cave, as well as Paul Robson, as well as another friend who I cannot mention. I will refer to him as, uh, who's, who's that guy on Harry Potter? Who you can't, you shouldn't say his name. Um, Volt, no, I'm about to say Voltaire. That's an, that's an author, right? Or book. I don't know. Anyhow, um, Voltimore. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll refer to my other friend as Voltimore because uh, I can't mention his name. But I've been pinging ideas off of these three gentlemen, and they have all offered good input here and there. Um, and I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Um, so uh, the wheels are done. I am going to put wheels on the back because adding that sheet metal right there makes it heavy. Plus, when the bonnet is vertically up, now it's back heavy with that sheet metal in the bonnet. So I am going to put the other two uh, caster wheels back here. And other than that, that's pretty much it. Uh, I did have to rework. I tore apart one of the axles because when I welded it the first time, the, it, the, the axle was not perpendicular with the disc. And I wasn't pleased with that. It kept bothering me mentally. So I took it out and figured out how to cut it off and modify it without trashing the disc because that's the only one I had. So I did, and I made it much better. Now both axles spin true. So that's really good. I, I will end up, right down in there, I will end up putting some bearing grease in those sleeves so that it spins a little bit better. Um, the other little tip, just a tidbit, little details. Details have been kicking my butt. These, these two holes right here serve two purposes. One, this is going to be a grab handle for my two hands so that I can push this thing around. I mean, it's a grab handle like this, and I can push it around the driveway or the shop or whatever. The other thing is, when I have my boom box in here, um, I know it has an antenna, so I will be able to stick that antenna out one of those holes. Um, so that's kind of nice. All right, so yeah, the details on this bad boy have just literally, I have, I have reworked things a few times. I've made some mistakes. Um, I've, I, the first time I, I welded, the hinge bracket onto the bonnet. I welded it at the wrong angle. I wasn't thinking. 
until I went to reinstall it. And I, I have put that, that uh, bonnet on 50, on and off 50 times. Um, but I welded it, but thankfully it's metal. Like Dave always tells me, he's like, it's just metal. You know, if you screw up, you can fix it. You can take it off, cut it off, whatever, and you can redo it. So, and that's exactly what I've done. Um, but that's where I'm at. Tomorrow, hopefully it's a day like this, beautiful, sunny, warm day. Um, and I'm going on my very first mini drive with some guys in San Antonio, Texas. Um, all right. Anyhow, that's the status. Stay tuned. Uh, I've got a lot planned for it. It's got, I've got a lot of work still left to do on it. But stay tuned for part four. Uh, thanks for tuning in. All right. Bye just now.